Welcome back everyone to Pineleaf Plays the Runekeeper. We are finally here in the Chamber of Crossroads. Balsi has told us that he found something... Well, something he'd rather not hear in the Book of Masterful, and let's find out what the details are. I am worried that the account in the Book of Masabul might happen again. It is worse than I expected, Pinestone. Balin's final lot was grim. I had not yet read all, but there is much here we should take as a warning. They were greatly outnumbered, but seemed not to know this until it was too late. Return to the Chamber of Leadership off the 21st Hall in Zelimelech and tell my cousin Broger to be more cautious. I am worried that if we do not take lessons from Balin's expedition, we may be doomed to his fate. Perhaps I am overreacting. Indeed, I hope that is the case. Regardless, bring the warning to Broger as quickly as you may. Alright, so let us as quickly as you may head over to the... Twenty-first hall. Soon to his halls. And see what he says, and I'm sure that... Broger will say, that's excellent advice, we should all pack up and get to a more solid foundation, not send all these dwarves out all over the place, and make sure that everything's nice, secure, and solid, for, I mean, dwarves aren't reported for being overconfident and digging too deep for, oh yes, that's right. Yes, I know. Yes, dwarves can get a little bit on the overconfident side on occasion. <laughs> Alright, let's go in and find out. Alright. Well, I came back with a warning. There's some grim news in that book. Bossy is worried for nothing. This time will be different. Yes, my cousin has always worried too much. Balin came and had a bad end, yes? But this time will be different. Look at all the victories we have already had, and in so short a time. We will be fine, Pinestone. Do not heed ba Balsy's groundless worrying. He always does this. Moria has cost us so much already. Surely the worst is behind us. Well. My nephew has come up with a daring plan. You should ask him about it. Yes, my nephew has come up with a daring plan. He conceived a di diversionary strike against a certain hall in the deeps of, of to draw the arcs of the White Hand from their camp. This way, a second group could enter the camp and defeat its leader. It will be dangerous for both groups, but it is a good plan. Imagine it. With one axe blow, we will cut off the head of the White Hand. Presence in Moria, Balsy's fears will be assuaged, and the face of such a victory. Ooh, yes, but you gotta remember, the White Hand did not exist back when Balin came here. <sighs> will you help my nephew, Bori, with his preparations for the strike? He grieves still for Broin, and feels that he must earn honor doubly for himself. And for his slain, and for my slain son, if this strike is successful, he will have done so. So let's go. So what is this daring plan? A triple daring plan. We need weapons and armor that can be repaired or melted down. Even if my plan goes smoothly, both groups of doors will be in danger. Orcs of the White Hand are deadly, and there is sure to be fighting. <laughs> you, really? We're low on equipment, though, and certainly lack of armor and weapons my two teams will require. If you will find some dented armor, broken blades, and cracked shields on Orcs, Rouse, Zelimelech, the Red Horn loads, and within their camps, this equipment might be repaired. If they are too damaged, we can melt them down and use them to make new weapons and armor. In either case, I will be able to equip our teams with the weapons and armor victory will require. Yes, sir -y. 
My plan requires as many courageous dwarves as will volunteer. Yes, I will need the help of the bravest dwarves of the company if my plan is to succeed. Our group will make a feint against the guarded junction of the eastern road. Oh, one group, not our group. And I will lead the other against Stadak with the encampment of the White Hand. Speak with the dwarves of the 21st Hall and recruit as many as you can for my mission. Bring to their minds visions of honor and valor, for there will be both in great supply. Once the White Hand is driven from Moria, we will have peace beneath the mountainside. Huzzah! Or I guess it's Baruch Kazad would be more appropriate for dwarves. I need to know the lay of Stosnak if my plan is to succeed. Uh, yes. One team of dwarves will lead a divisionary strike against the outpost on the eastern road in order to draw the main body of the White Hand Orcs out of their camp. Stangsnak. At that time, a second group will stealthily enter Stangsnak and defeat the White Hand leader. I need information about the locations, Pinestone. Examine the strength of the force along the eastern road and become familiar with the layout of Stangsnak. I want you to collect barrels of black powder from within Stangsnak and return to me. We will must deprive them of this dangerous weapon wherever we can. Investigate these locations and return to me with the information you discover. My father is always telling me that information is among the dwarves' mightiest weapons. Now we wield the information to bring back. We'll determine the success of my plan. All right. Now these quests are all level 57, which is going to be a little bit on the tough side. Now, there is something you could do about this one right here. That instance I used before the training hall can get us some of that. I think, yeah, I think the training hall can get us to Brazil. Yeah. And this one I can do right here in the 21st hall. But the junction of the eastern road and that, I'd want to make sure I'm at least, well, at least 50. Well, it's skirmish camp. At least level 54. Maybe a couple more levels above that before I go around setting on that path. And. What am I doing? I am going around in circles a little bit, apparently. Alright, what I want to do right now is to... Talk to this guy. Hello! Wanna go on a daring strike? The shadow of Mordor will not long fill the halls of Casa Doom. I have a great deal of respect for Bori, of course. But I have enough to work to without casting stones at a nest of hornets. The plan is ill-conceived. And unless Lords Balsy and Broger order it themselves, I will not be a part of it. Well then, that shows you how this is coming along so far. Ooh, what is this? A riddle. A riddle in Falangir's strange written language. Dwarf walketh over, dwarf walketh under. In time of war, dwarf burneth asunder. Now, I saw a few of these items back in the Chamber of Maserbul, so that's where I'm going to assume the answer is. Yeah, I know, I've done this line before, so of course I know that's where the answer is. Hello, you want to go the into a daring strike? Not long fill the halls of Kazatum. What is this plan, of Bori? A diversionary strike? I am old-fashioned, and I do not appreciate such tactics. Enemies should be challenged head-on. Even if this were more to my liking, I have too many tasks on my plate and not enough time in which to complete them all. Uh, it is a shame I cannot fight alongside with the young master. Yes. We have seen not of Durin's bane. Oh, by the way, have you heard about the fall Moria? of Moria? 
you know, those two people who tried to give it to you earlier and you just skipped over it? Yes, now I'm going to tell it to you now. All right, this is the, this is where you can pick it up in the 21st hall. Actually, I think I'll save that for our next episode, because right now, I want to take care of this riddle and take care of these other... matters here. Then I could come back for the riddles oh, for talking dwarves into doing it. Though right now it looks like we're not getting much response. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, I just wanted to look at... Yep. So now it's like... Well, let's see what we have here. Well, we don't want to walk over an hourglass. Well, one does walk over a bridge, one can walk under a bridge, and in a war you could destroy a bridge. Certainly not a horn. Certainly not. Well, you could walk over footsteps, but walking under them is rather tough. Well, it looks like the best answer here is a bridge. And... I know... You would think that we'd get a little bit more hoopla there for solving that riddle, but nah, it just says, alright, you solved it, goodbye. Most underwhelming finish to a quest there is. Now, let's get back to convincing dwarves of the glory they will get if they follow this plan to have a diversionary strike followed up with oh here we go hello there how would you like to be part of a diversionary strike Azog's folk have not yet fully repaid for their crimes against us I have already have tasked the two pine stone I am sorry I cannot help Bari with his mission but I respect him for his undertaking well then this doesn't look like he's gonna get much help. Three dwarves down and three respectful declinations. Uh, hello there. How would you like to participate in a raid against the White Hand Orcs? I will help Bori with his errand. Great honor will be ours. Yeah, uh, oh, wait, wait. Did you say yes? Oh, oh, yes. I will follow Lord Balsy's son into battle and gladly the White Hand's time memorial will soon be at an end. Well, all right. Well, we're at one for three. One for four, I mean. Then let's head off this way and find more dwarves who may be willing to help. Oh, here's a dwarf. Hello there. Dwarves must fight for dwarves. Do not question my valor, Broom Keeper. But I will not follow young boy to my death. Lord Broger has already lost his son in this endeavor. Unless someone wiser than Bori leads this assault on Staunchgots, I fear that Lord Balsy will lose his as well. Well. Right, well, obviously we can't get the ones who are on guard duty. Ah, uh, yeah, here's one. Hello there, how would you like to participate in a double-pronged attack against the orcs? The orcs of Moria have much to account for! Yes, I would gladly volunteer for young Bori's mission. The sooner the White Hand is cast from Moria, the safer we will all be. Let none call Stilling a coward! Very well. So there we go, we have two! out of the six that I found, and the rest of them seem busier than the ones that I that refused for being too busy, so obviously I'm not going to get any help from them. So let's get back to the Chamber of Confusion. Yeah, I know. Chamber of Leadership. Alright. Yes! I got the list of the names of those who volunteered. Those are all the dwarves who volunteered? No matter, no matter, it's fine. Yeah, 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 this, this is fine, yes. 
Well, we's barely enough for one group. Well, I am sure you did your best, and we'll somehow manage this. Yes, dwarves of the greatest courage, and that's one of our three sets of preparations. But of course, we have two more tasks we would like to complete. One of them, of course, being the let's see, going and find that junction. That junction one has always been a tough one, so I'm definitely not going to do that for at least another. Look. I think what's my best bet to do is to go back to the Chamber of Crossroads, start to do some quests there. I'll be able to get to level 54. That shouldn't be too difficult at the moment. And we do have some other quests in here, but I think these are for... Abide here a moment and speak with me. Yeah, these are the level 54 quests. Actually... But this one... Stand and speak with me. The fate of Khazadrum hangs into balance. Yeah. This is what I'm going to take now. It says, Do you have time enough to aid the expedition again? I would like you to speak with my friend of mine, Aguti. He has traveled deeper into Moria with the expedition, and I have yet to hear back from him. You will find Aguti down in the old waterworks, in places they call the Rotting Cellar, southwest of here, past the Silvertine Loads. I'm given to understand that it isn't considered the most comfortable post. With a name like the Rotting Cellar, Seller, I would guess so. In fact, this leads to the running cell, the waterworks, and then the waterworks leads back here eventually. So you get more quests in the area once you do that. I doubt that Lord Balin still lives. But we do have this, a gleam in the gloom, but we could pick that up at any time, especially considering that's a level 55 quest. But. I think it is time to do the long postponed. Look Abide into here a moment and speak with me. Look into the fall of Moria. We refused to do it when we were in the expedition. We skipped over it when we were still out at Ekatunan. But now is the time for us to finally do this quest. I will tell you the story of the fall of Moria, if you will hear it. Perhaps one day, your part in the expedition to reclaim this place will be an important narration for a new tale, eh? I warn you thus, it is a sad story. Only now do we endeavor to give it a happier ending. Next time, I will be running a little session play on the fall of of Moria in our next episode of Pineleaf Plays The Runekeeper.